Oh, what a great question. Because life is all about being happy, right? Now, I don't know the best way or the fastest way to find this. Um, probably the fastest would be to ask someone for advice, a really smart person. But beyond that, what you can do on your own and the thing that I do most to find out what brings me happiness is continually be chasing things that you think bring you happiness. Now that sounds a little too easy. And a lot of times people will question me because I, I tell them, learn to only do things that bring you happiness. And the, you know, I just told someone that yesterday and I always get the same thing. They always say, you can't always do what makes you happy. And this person's example, because I was talking to a, a teenager, he said, you know, I have to clean my room. I don't like doing it. It doesn't make me happy, but I got to do it. And I asked him, well, why? He said, well, if I don't, then my room will get too messy. And then I, I asked him, do you know that there are people who never clean their room and they're alive? He's like, yeah, but I don't want to live like that. And I'm like, well, th it's not needed then. You don't have to do it. People don't do it in life. It's not a requirement of life. And I told him, why don't you just stop cleaning your room for a week and then see how you feel. And if you, after a week of not cleaning your room, look around and feel around your room and you realize that not cleaning your room makes you unhappy, well then start cleaning your room again. But now as you clean, you may dislike it a little bit, but you'll realize more so now that cleaning your room actually brings you happiness and fulfillment and it brings you everything that you needed. You just, you didn't have to change anything, but it was something you had to realize. And then some people ask, well, sometimes I have to force myself to do things like this same person said, you know, there might be a certain job that I don't like, but when I do it, often I end up liking it. So here's the thing with this. You have to realize that you don't really know what you like a lot of times. So keeping an open mind to try new things is a key part in finding what makes you happy. Because not doing things or assuming you won't like something when you actually don't know will stop you the most from finding happiness. If you don't know if you'll like a job and there's nothing better that will make you happier right now that you know of, then take the job. If you end up liking it, great. If you end up hating it, then quit. If a better opportunity comes that brings you more joy and you should always be looking for better opportunities, then take that and quit the job. This is probably one of the hardest things to do because in most cases, people are in paralysis. They're not moving or not doing anything in life because they think they don't like everything and they're too afraid or they think they might not like something. People don't like change. I don't like change, but you have to learn to keep an open mind and be willing to try new things. And you know, one of the best ways to get information is obviously action. Because when I think of it, people are always looking for a better life, like looking for more fulfillment and joy. But in most cases, when I talk to people, they are living the happiest life they could live. The only problem is they're so stuck in, they have to do everything and they're being forced to do everything that they don't actually understand or realize that they actually enjoy everything they're doing. And so when you choose to do things, it's a lot different. So that's why I tell people, you know, if you don't like something, stop it. You'd be amazed how much you could not do and survive in life. You could do almost nothing in life and survive. But as you stop doing it, you might realize, oh, it actually did make me happy and you'll start doing it again. But you might be doing it again, but you're not in the same spot because now you realize how much joy that brings you. And if you take your whole life, you may realize after you stop doing everything, that you know you are living a great life and you don't really need to make a whole lot of adjustments to be happier. And I find that true in most cases and especially in my life. You just have to often realize that you're doing a lot of good in life, you're adding a lot of value, and you should feel fulfilled because you're, leaving, you're leading a great life.